Now let's continue by talking about the high-level architecture of Spark. Now Spark in the end is a distributed processing engine and therefore we need to understand some of the basic terms. Now first of all, if we have a cluster, for example, considering of three nodes, on one of the nodes there will be running a cluster manager which is responsible for managing resources in the cluster. Now if we run a application or an application, we use a script, a script called Spark Submit which talks to the cluster manager which in turn launches a driver program which is a JVM that runs on one of the worker nodes. Now this driver program basically executes the user program that we have written with its main method and instantiates the Spark context, which is the central entry point for every Spark application. Now, subsequently, the driver talks to the cluster manager um, because it has the configuration the user has passed in as well and will acquire executors, which the cluster manager will instantiate on the workers. Now, the executors are responsible for executing tasks. So they are simple, they are also JVM processes and they take basically orders from the driver which does all of the planning and the scheduling and so on and the driver will send tasks to the executors that they need to um, evaluate and the executors will report back the states and results to the driver. And that's basically how a how an Apache Spark application is deployed on a cluster. However, in this course, we will use only the local mode. And Spark provides a deployment mode, which allows us to run a Spark application on our laptops. So how does it work then? If we have our developer laptop here, and we run Spark in the local mode with this annotation, with the small asterisk, we will instantiate a JVM on our laptop and within this JVM, Spark will launch the driver and a couple of executor threads. And there will be as many threads as we have logical cores on our laptop if we use the asterisk here. However, we can also put a number here, for example, two, and then it would use two executor threads. So that's the very simple deployment we will use in this course because we will run Spark on our laptops. Additionally, we don't have a data lake or a um, like distributed file system. Rather, we will just work with the local file system.